so this uh, video is about the Windows storage uh, spaces and uh, this is a software RAID system um, and then the way it is possible well, let's just uh, jump back so store garage manage storage spaces and then you jump over to the settings the other is uh, when you open the settings in the system and there is also the storage and here the managed storage spaces uh, so let's try to give make a storage space which is about to create a storage pool I have five disks eligible uh, to be used for a storage space actually uh, combined disks into a logical RAID 0 style um, uh, storage volume and then let's try to create a pool and then unfortunately this is the current situation and whatever way I tried I wasn't able to use this graphical user interface to create a storage place storage space and cannot I wasn't able to create a storage pool so I went ahead and um, try to find uh, some help on internet and definitely I was able to find this was a report from this year a couple of months ago uh, the guy was complaining exactly the same uh, issue and first I was thinking because uh, that may be some licensing is issues but no my Windows is professional uh, pro professional that is it supports disk so then he just uh, gave a description how to use PowerShell to create storage space because PowerShell works uh, worked excellently uh, f for his and I also honestly before making this video I also went through and experimented it and also it worked uh, for my computer so therefore this is what I want to replicate and I also found a, a nice tutorial from this guy who is really an expert Give me a sec. Mm. One more step, I think that was, yes, PowerShell. This is Tyler. So PowerShell to manage Windows 10 storage pools. So this video was also uh, quite helpful. However, honestly, the style of these guys is really irritating. But anyhow, he is definitely a knowledgeable uh, guy. And then also this documentation of PowerShell related to the storage is very helpful too and uh, maybe additional documents okay so let's then go ahead and open a powershell to create storage spaces and the way to do is that powershell run it as an administrator otherwise it won't work so the first thing is 
to find if we have disks that can be pulled. The command is get uh, physical disk. Here you go. I have uh, uh, four disks and three of them can be used for pooling. This is a can pool, very important. If your disks are marked as false for pooling, then you're out of luck. 